Hey, I'm Chantastic. This is React Holiday, day number 20. Today we're talking about context. We're, we're gonna start talking about context. I'm gonna show you how to create context and use context. And uh, tomorrow we'll get into how to make that dynamic. But today we're just gonna create and use context. Let's dive in. So React has very aptly named APIs for this. Uh, the first of which is react.createContext. Fancy that. Um, and that usually gets assigned to some type of variable. So this would be let's Pokemon context equal react create context. Very simple so far. Now, uh, let's right now just put a Pokemon on this. So we'll just kind of give it a default. Um, like we've seen with some of the hooks, anything that we provide to this function is going to be the default for that. So we'll do name Bulbasaur. And now I want to update this Pokemon component to use context. There's a fancy hook for that called react.useContext. And when we use context, we give it this, this uh, <laughs> variable that we've created context from. So we're creating context, context is stored here, and then we use that to um, then read from context or to use context in our component. Now here I'll do something like let uh, name equal react.useContext because we're getting a Pokemon object back. Uh, and then we're going to just destructure that name off of that object so that we can you know not have to change this. Now I'm gonna delete this now because we don't need that. We're getting the value from context and I can delete it in our app here as well. So let's see what happens. Now, as I click on these, I should only be seeing Bulbasaur. Now, while our app is changing in the background, uh, we're not providing this context. We're just setting and using this static Bulbasaur context, but it does prove that we have our create context and our use context working in tandem. Um, so tomorrow we'll talk about making context dynamic.